Well, John Simon, has it uh, sunk in what you guys have accomplished, just uh, how hard it is to go undefeated, and what does it mean to this football team, 12-0? and 0? Am I allowed to hold it? Sure. Uh, going 12-0, that, that's absolutely amazing for us. That was, we, we came into the season, we wanted to win as many games as possible for the seniors. That was our goal as a team. And uh, through hard work, dedication, uh, working with the coaching staff, we appreciate the coaching staff, the best fans in the land, the best band in the land, uh, your guys' support week in and week out, we were able to get it done. So it means a lot to us. All right, I'm going to come over here to Etienne Sabino real quick. <laughs> Coach Meyer has talked about the senior leadership on this football team and what you guys did. The foundation has been set. The standard has been set. What does that foundation look like now for future teams? It's, it's real, real, real pretty. I mean, uh, I, well, the future is bright, man. We have a lot of talent on this team. Sky's the limit for this team. Go Bucks. All right, Zach Bourne, middle of the week. You're the fullback at Ohio State, middle of the season, rather. And Coach Meyer comes up and says, hey, Zach, we need you to play linebacker. What, uh, what was your reaction? And which position did you enjoy more this year? I'm not going to answer the last part of that question. But, Talking to the mic, hold that up. Uh, you know, Coach Meyer came to me, and I just wanted to help out any way I could. Sabino broke his leg. and. He's a, he's a big part of our team, so I knew filling his shoes would be hard, and um, it was a big spot. But uh, I just went out and, you know, along with his team, you know, showed hard, showed hard work, put in extra time, and became successful at it. There goes Zach. Zach. <laughs> Garrett Goble, you finish your career at Ohio State with a win over that team up north. How much fun was it? after the game, beating those guys, and the way the fans stormed the field. What was it like? Because I saw you look like you were having a heck of a time out there. Um, well, it's always great to beat those guys from up north, and uh, especially in front of all, of all you guys. And uh, it's something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. And uh, it was just awesome seeing in Carmen, Ohio, with all you guys down on the field with us. Go Bucks. Etienne, do you have a favorite moment from this season? And what do you think you're going to miss the most now that the career is over? Wow, favorite moment. That's, it's hard to uh, pick one, but I would say the, the overtime win versus Wisconsin was my first game back, and I was just happy to be on the team. I mean, be on the field with my teammates. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to miss the fans. Uh, there's nothing like Buckeye Nation, so I'm definitely going to miss that. How much fun is it coming out of that tunnel? You, you, uh, you can't put that into words. Um, the butterflies from, from day one to, to my last time out in the shoe, I had butterflies. So you can't put that into words. It's amazing. Finally, John. We know you wanted to play against that team up north, and unfortunately it didn't happen. But uh, your teammates deliver the victory. You were very emotional on the sidelines, and after the game, they presented you with the game ball. What did that mean to you? Well, I told the guys in the locker room, it meant everything to me. Uh, I was very disappointed I couldn't go out there with them, but they went out and played lights out. And, uh, you know, I've never been more proud of a group of guys in my life. And I made sure that they knew that that, that game ball was a team award, and someone stepped up for us every game. So it's not just an individual award. That was a team season, and we appreciate you guys. Go Bucks. Let's hear it for these four captains, folks.